Christmas is stirring up emotions you would rather not feel. These emotions might include loneliness and isolation, or apprehension at being with family, or other negative feelings. It seems wrong to feel this way in this season of good cheer when people are putting up decorations, getting together with loved ones, and celebrating the birth of Christ. How can you disconnect from these negative emotions and embrace the warmth and quiet joy of the holiday season? Get into a comfortable position. Either close your eyes or rest them on a fixed spot in the room. Take a deep breath. Notice what it feels like to breathe, to fill your lungs with air, and let the air out slowly. Notice how your body feels in the chair. Connect to the feelings in your legs, your back, your arms and shoulders and chest. Breathe in. Breathe out. Keep breathing in and out. As you focus, allow the sensations to be what they are with an attitude of openness, interest, and receptiveness to whatever you're feeling. Envision a Christmas tree. It may be big and grandly decorated or small with just a few sparse decorations. That doesn't matter. What does matter is that it has lights that shine in the dark and decorations slowly and lovingly hung. Focus on the tree. It is a live tree sitting in a stand filled with water. The tree is slowly, silently drinking the water. You are like the tree. You need the spiritual sustenance of Christmas time. The tree has a strong trunk sitting in the water. The branches can bend and sway, but the bottom is firm and strong. You are like the tree flexible when you need to be, but strong when you need to be. The tree is hung with little twinkle lights or with fat, bright bulbs. You are a light unto the world, like the lights, beaming out the serenity of this season of love, joy, and forgiveness. The tree is hung with bright silver chains. The chains are like the anxieties that beset us. They are part of the tree, but so are the lights. The tree is hung with gold, silver, and multicolored balls. They are not sharp-edged, but round, like the earth, and like Santa's tummy, perhaps. And like your tummy, perhaps? Think of a loved one with a tummy, someone generous like Santa, and radiate positive feelings toward that person. The tree is hung with tinsel, evoking icicles hanging from evergreen trees. Even if there are no trees outside your window, you can imagine them standing tall and strong, holding their icicles swaying only infinitesimally even in the most bitter wind. You are like those trees, standing strong in the cold wind. Our tree is hung with other decorations, some made by a departed loved one, and others gathered on our travels. They include a glass star from Venice, a mirror ball from Vienna, and numerous blue and white ceramics from the Netherlands. What decorations would you use to remind you of the people or places you love? Finally, your tree is topped with a symbol of the season. 
It may be an angel, like our paper mache angel from Spain, to symbolize God's love. It may be a star, like the one that guided the three wise men to Bethlehem. Or it may be a Santa doll to remind us that Christmas gives us a chance to show love to those we love, or just to be generous and cheerful to someone as best we can. No matter how patiently you water it, your tree will dry out, and eventually, around the new year, it will be time for the tree to go. But it will provide mulch to nourish other living creatures that come after it. And with any luck, next Christmas, you will choose another tree, take it home, decorate it, alone or with family or with friends, and the season will begin again. But for now, you are enjoying this tree. It fills the air with its evergreen scent. Like feelings of good cheer, the scent is invisible. Yet it is nonetheless real, a physical sensation. Sometimes you don't notice it, but then you do. Like good cheer, it comes and goes but always comes back again if you let it. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.